This is a book I made that I use to keep track of some of my uh, more brilliant ideas when it comes to making some scrapbooks. This doesn't have any pictures in it. I made it basically to just, if I had any ideas, I could put them in this book and refer to them later. The cover, I actually made the cover out of a very inexpensive clipboard that I got at the dollar store. It makes kind of a sturdy cover and because it's actually cheap it's not as hard as a good clipboard. Um, probably the most difficult part is trying to pry off the clip part. But once you pry it off you'll have a couple of holes in it but you'll cover that you'll cover that up with with paper so it doesn't really matter. You'll need two of these, one for the front cover and then I actually used one on the back cover. Then on the side of the book, I just used a ruler that I found. This one is somewhat similar. Um, some of the rulers have three holes in them. And then I just used my drill and drilled another two more holes. And I used binder rings on here to actually put this whole thing together. Um, the cheaper the ruler you have, the better. You don't really need one with the metal edge to it. Um, and depending on the look you're trying to get, even a more beat up ruler might achieve the effect you like. So I just glued the ruler on the side of the chipboard and conveniently a 12 inch ruler. I'm sorry, on the clipboard will fit perfectly on the clipboard and then in this case I did use a drill to drill the holes in, in my book. Then this is a Scrabble letter holder that I found at my scrapbook store along with some Scrabble letters that I glued on and stained um, using some of my favorite Distress ink from Tim Holtz. This is actually a cabinet pull that I used and then I just embellished it how I liked with my initials and a heart and a few other things. So then when you open it up on the inside page you just use a lunch bag again good old dollar store. I used a lot of the Graphic 45 I think it's the school book uh, paper. This is just a piece of paper I added with kind of a top binder clip. Now this piece right here is a file folder that I went ahead and covered with some paper. This whole thing's a file folder. I made a pocket on this side that I folded over that I could put my brilliant ideas in that pocket. And there's another pocket right here to put additional brilliant ideas on the back of this file folder I added a 5 by 7 envelope and again good old dollar store. This next page is a larger envelope 9.5 by 12 inch envelope. Again I got these at the dollar store. I think they were six, seven, 6 in a pack for a dollar. I made some tags so I could write down what I might have decided, what I might have put in my envelope. Ah, more brilliant ideas. Then I put a label on the back of the page, and again I repeated both with another file folder, paper bag, another binder clip on the top of my file folder and on the back with some project notes and another envelope where I can put some ideas in, a smaller envelope and then this is the back cover and I put oops, adjust this, this is a binder clip on the top and I don't remember 
where this paper came from, but I just really like the look of it. Put that on the back of the book, which was again another clipboard. And if you feel ambitious, you can go ahead on your binder rings here and add some ribbons. So this is just a fun book for you to keep track of all of your projects in. Again, if you would like some more detail about it, you can look me up on Facebook on Scrapbook Ideas. Sorry, Scrapbook Idea Exchange. Thank you.